Inside this building are three brothers. Mike, Son, and Mo. Three friends, living a dream. Yeah, just us. Allow me to introduce you to Michael Lucero. I work with my twin brother. It sounds good, brother. That's Moses Lucero. And my uh, buddy Sean. Every day is, is something new. And Sean Martinez. They are. Part owners still allow their barber company. They are trying to create a. Denver uh, premier barber shop. Mike says it was. It's easy to open up the shop being that I have two other partners. They know. It's hard work. You only get out of it what you put into it. I like working hard. I, I like being challenged. This shop is their dream and it started years ago. Becoming a barber has been the plan since high school. For Mike, he didn't like going into a barber shop and not getting the cut that I wanted. Sean liked looking good too. I was getting my hair cut probably once a week. That isn't cheap. Growing up in a bigger family and not being able to afford haircuts. This led to picking up scissors. I actually started cutting in high school. So we started cutting our own hair. That led to cutting friends and family. And eventually it took me into barber school. That's great, man. Once they were in school, the challenges didn't stop. Well, I was going to Emily Griffith. I was holding down a full-time job, going to school full-time. They appreciate their education. I want to thank Emily Griffith for the opportunity of giving us the ability and the, the skill, um, not only to cut hair, but also how to run a successful business. They have some advice for you while you're in school. Take every haircut possible. Learn as much as you can. You listen to your instructors. They definitely know what they're talking about. You're in school and the time to mess up and get the mistakes out is during school. And once you're out of school. You have one obligation, and that's to make sure there's somebody always in your chair. And come away satisfied. Make sure a, a first time client comes back a second time. You give somebody a bad haircut, and they're never coming back. Maybe you could enjoy the benefits of working for yourself someday. There's a number of things. I love being self-employed. Nobody tells you what to do. Making money without... So how you feeling, man? Anybody giving you a schedule? They make this sound so simple. They do understand. This doesn't come easy. It's something that you have to work at. But it, it all depends on the drive and the passion. You could take barbering as far as you want. This intensity drives them to demand. This is just tip of the iceberg. We want a couple more locations. They're living their dream. I never thought that I would own a barbershop. Opening a barbershop in the heart of downtown Denver is an accomplishment.